Welcome back. So today I'm finally getting around to doing my June favorites and I have to say I'm actually like, really excited to do this one and I think I probably say that every time but this one is because there's so many favorites that came out of subscription boxes or the Target or Walmart beauty boxes and it just makes me really happy because it just goes to show that it really is worth it to buy these boxes where you get to sample so many things because you never know what you can be surprised by and what can end up being your favorite. So not to ramble on, I just want to jump straight into it. So the first thing that I want to talk about here is this e.l.f. lip scrub. Oh, this turned out to be such an amazing favorite of mine. This is the one in brown sugar and it looks like this. It looks like a lipstick bullet and it actually has all these granules and everything that are inside of it so whenever you just scrub it back and forth across your lips you get that exfoliating action and then the formula of the balm that it's in stays on your lips and moisturizes it and leaves them feeling so soft and after you've used the lip scrub you kind of get this nice little plumping effect I have been using this sucker daily since getting it daily. Every time I'm going to do my makeup, I put it on first and I let it do its thing. And as it sits on my lips, I kind of just kind of pass them over each other back and forth as I'm doing my makeup to continue that exfoliating action. And then by the time I'm done, I lick off the sugar crystals, which I don't think you should do, so don't. But And then I just let the balm kind of do its thing and my lips feel and look amazing and slightly plumped not for a long time but for a little bit of time but it still looks really nice so I ended up loving this so much so I'm glad that that came in one of those um I think it was the Target boxes or was it the one actually came in one of those Walmart boxes so that was pretty awesome and here's another one this is actually from the one of the Target boxes that I picked up and this is the L'Oreal Pure Clay Cleanser Detox Bright and Clay to Mousse clay to mousse clay to mousse charcoal cleanser <laughs> and oh i raved about this when i did the update video i love this so much i haven't even had to pick up the full size yet because miraculously enough there's still a couple uses left in here but this turned out to be so great and it has quickly become a favorite and definitely in constant use as part of my rotation of cleansers for my face because I don't like to use the same exact one every single day I do switch them up for each different purpose that they serve but this just it it does an amazing job and if you want more in-depth detail then you can go ahead and watch the update video on that one but so glad that I found that one now the next item here is this Tarte Tardis Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter and this came out of my BoxyCharm subscription I believe I did not like this for the face at all. I still don't like it for the face. However, to tap over your lids as a wash of color or to add to any eye look that you already have going, if you just want something, you know, to kind of sit over the, the shadow that you have on and kind of give it a pop. And mostly for use on the body. I love putting this over my shoulders. I love hitting my cobbler bone area. It looks so nice, especially when the light hits it and... It's nice to know that even though it was meant for kind of one thing, you can use it for another. So I didn't really like it on the face, but as far as other uses that I found for it, I ended up liking it a lot. So definitely glad that I was able to find that one. Moving on from there is the Brow Gal Instatint um, Brow Gel with Microfibers. So when I first found this in the BoxyCharm Beauty Box, I was kind of like stuck because I'm like you know what there's hardly any product on here you don't really see the brow gel on here you don't really see the fibers on here so I was kind of wondering what is this really going to do and the color seemed a little off when I first put it on after messing with it a few times and really working with it I liked it already when I tried it in the video I was kind of like oh this is kind of cool the more I've used it the more I've liked it this is one of those products where if you kind of need to get your brows done quickly and you don't have time to really sit there and be too precise with them but you want some filling and to be out the door this is going to do that for you it is um, it's not overly difficult to use because of the fact that it doesn't get gunky and it doesn't pick up too much product and the fact that it's not too heavy with fibers. It is light enough that you can just go build it up to the coverage that you want, build it up to the filling that you need and be out the door and your brows are set and it really stays because there are times I've forgotten I've had it on and I kind of go to rub my brows and I'm like, oh crap. And then I check, it still looks fine. So definitely a quick favorite of mine. Definitely one I've been reaching for a 
lot when I need to just kind of <laughs> definitely when I've been reaching for a lot when I kind of just need to brush through them quickly and go and be out the door and the color surprisingly enough it did seem a little off when I was first putting it on but then after a few minutes I guess as the color as the color settles in it actually ended up matching so it looks perfectly fine again love that product so moving on from there I have here the pretty vulgar blush and hush blush again from a boxy charm um, subscription and I just love this color so much it is a flat matte blush which I like um, most of the times because I want to be able to choose whatever topper or highlighter or whatever that I put on on my own so and you know on days when I just don't want any of that at all and I really just want a nice flush of blush this is the color to go to for me all the time it just gives a nice wash of color it isn't anything that it's going to make me look washed out if it, you know, it blends into my skin very nicely. It looks very natural. I love that so much. I just have to be careful with it because that is way more pigmented than you think it's going to be. So you got to go in with a light hand and a nice fluffy brush. But it is a beautiful color and I ended up loving it. And moving on from there is from the Wet n Wild, um, uh, what is it, Flights of Fancy collection, the Hummingbird Hype. This is another one that is supposed to be a blush. They call this one a baked blush. I'm not even going to try to open it. I'm going to hurt myself. They call this one a baked blush. I don't know about using it as just a straight up blush. As a blush topper. Very pretty. But again, my favorite way to use it is on the body. If I want to hit the shoulders or if I want to hit the collarbone. I like this one a lot. The color is beautiful. It blends into the at least my skin tone nicely. And it does give more of a pop of brightness than the Tarte one. Like this is when I want something a little more subtle. And then this is when you kind of want that to pop. Like you want your shoulder to be like bam when it hits the light. So this is the one you want to use for that. But messing with it and playing around with it and seeing how I like it. I definitely like it more as a body thing than I do on the face. But when I want a nice little blush topper and that's the kind of tone and color I'm looking for, then I will reach for that one. And right on the heels of that one, I have here the Butter Collection Palette in Medium Deep from Physicians Formula. Now, we already know if you've been here before and you've seen any of my videos you already know i love the physician's formula butter bronzer that's no secret i do really like the two highlights in here a lot but the one standout from here that i want to talk about that absolutely is a favorite of mine is the blush in vintage rouge it is such a beautiful color it's this very muted rosy peachy color it's what i have on my cheeks right now what i love the most about it is that it almost looks in the box like it's going to just be a flat matte color and it it's funny because as much as i just talked about loving the flat matte color of the the pretty vulgar blush this one i like the fact that there's this hidden sheen to it there's no glitteriness there's no shine to it. When you look at it in the pan, it looks like it's going to be flat and that. And then you get it on your cheeks and there's just a little sheen there, that very secretly little hidden sheen that when the light hits it and it picks it up, it adds just this very nice kind of glow from within look that I think just looks so pretty. So when you're not looking for something super pow in your face and you do want something very subtle, this is the one to go to. But it's just the softest look ever. And I, you know, I have a, a full matte look pretty much going on today. So I didn't want to add anything crazy. And it's like, that is just the go-to all the time when you just want a softer, very pretty, you know, understated look but something that still is put together and that looks very beautiful and last but not least <laughs> I actually want to give a nice little shout out to this elf brush here which is the elf 103 brush I like the angled cut of this brush it is very soft it's very fluffy it has this nice rounded angle there I love this one for bronzing I love it for using uh, for contouring for bronzing it is just the perfect shape to just get in around the edges of my face to just tap in my bronzer to blend it together it I love it for contouring along the cheek line when I just want to use my bronzer and go in it is the perfect shape to get right here and just lay down that bronzer and boom it just does does all the work for you it is super super soft as well it just gets the job done it is so soft it's 
this is a beautiful brush and I think I'm going to pick up more from their collection slowly but surely start adding more brushes from this because I wasn't expecting this kind of quality when I first purchased this and yet it feels incredible and believe it or not that is it <laughs> we are done that is all that I have for you today that is the end of the favorites video um, to be sure as always I forgot to say this in the beginning but everything that I loved from January through May are still all my favorites uh, I wanted to try to keep this video as short as possible and I definitely wanted to talk about all these new things that I have discovered and come to love from all these subscription boxes and all these store brand beauty boxes because it just goes to show that it really is worth it to pay for these things that you know that are not even that expensive these were you know seven dollar boxes and five dollar boxes and you know i think the most expensive one is the boxy charm subscription which is 21 dollars. but it's a nice way to discover lots of things that you probably would have otherwise passed up or not even bothered to look into but anyway if you haven't already please comment rate subscribe please hit that notification bell uh you all have an amazing week wherever you are and i will see you in my next video bye